Hello, I'm Oliver Green and this is your Diz Daily Fix for Friday, August 19th, 2016. First up today, we have some new and exciting news around the Planet Hollywood restaurant in Disney Springs. Our own Craig Williams' favourite celebrity chef, Guy Fieri, will develop a new burger and sandwich menu for the reopening of the Planet Hollywood restaurant. Robert Earl, founder of Planet Hollywood and star of Robert Earl's Be My Guest on the Cooking Channel, asked Fieri to help design a portion of the new menu, which will have a bold flavor, which will have bold flavor, sorry, and a wide variety of offerings. Some of the items Fieri has created include the primetime American Kobe-inspired burger and the turkey pick a nick sandwich. That's how it's wrote. I didn't decide to pronounce picnic that way. The reimagined restaurant will be uh, reminiscent of a turn-of-the-century observatory with a modern design uh, aesthetic, whilst the interior's refurbished upholstery will consist of spherical planet-shaped lighting fixtures and stylish finishings will create a welcoming atmosphere for fans to celebrate a new generation of superstar entertainers. There'll be an outdoor terrace and bar, plus all new merchandise line. The new Planet Hollywood is set to open summer of 2016, according to the Planet Hollywood website. The end of summer 2016 is only a few weeks away, and judging by the exterior of the restaurant, currently I wouldn't be surprised if they need an extension on that date. Moving on to a shocker of a story. Anyone who rode Rock and Roller Coaster over at Hollywood Studios recently may have noticed a slight change. Do you remember that weird thumb to ring finger gesture that Steven Tyler would do during the pre show video on Rock and Roller Coaster? It's the part where he says, Wait a minute, I, I-, I love that idea. That was terrible. Well, it turns out that it could be mistaken for a crude hand gesture uh, that people used to do in the 90s, and the folks at Disney have actually digitally removed the gesture a mere 17 years later. Stephen wasn't too impressed and has since sent out a colourful tweet accompanied by a picture where he's making a goofy face and hand gestures, wearing a hat with a not-safe-for-work word on the front, writing... At Walt Disney World, so what exactly do you think this means? Is the hat a dead giveaway? P.S. See you next week. Needless to say, Disney did not respond. Moving on to a story that isn't fishy in the slightest. Finding Dory, the newest release from Disney Pixar, has just suppressed the 900 million mark at the global box office. Finding Dory is the fourth Disney film to hit that mark this year. The others are Captain America Civil War, Zootopia and The Jungle Book. Finding Dory is Pixar's third highest grossing film. It follows Toy Story, grossing $1.06 billion, and Finding Nemo, grossing $936 million. Finding Dory came out on June 17th uh, and had an opening weekend of $135 million in the domestic box offices. A record for an animated film's debut. Our featured article today is titled Top 5 Thrill Attractions in Disneyland. Stephen, seriously, it's like I never left Porter, lists the top five thrill attractions in Disneyland, including the Matterhorn bobsleds, Mickey's Fun Wheel, and California Screaming. Trending on the boards today is a thread entitled Portrait Session in Epcot, just sharing info. That goes over detailed information on having professional photos taken during your Walt Disney World vacation. Poster Loreni describes the details of her uh, enhanced portrait session. She booked with Disney Photography and what you can expect if you book this package. Others are weighing in with their advice and also describing what countries at Epcot are their favourites to have these photos taken when the park is empty. Look for this thread over on our Theme Parks, Attractions and Strategies Forum. And finally today, the weather. Here in Orlando tomorrow, it's going to thunder with a high of 89 and a low of 77. There is a 100% chance of rain. Over in Disneyland, it's sunny with a high of 85 and a low of 63, with a 0% chance of rain. Those lucky Californians. For more information on everything I've spoken about today, visit the Daily Fix homepage at wdwinfo.com slash dailyfix. I'm Oliver Green, and that was your Daily Fix for today. I hope you have a good day, everyone.